Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find the square root of 2304 by long division method. I have already uploaded a lot of videos on long division method and prime factorization method. You can check it out to know more about these methods. So let's get started. The first step in finding the square root using the long division method is to group the digits in pairs starting with the digit in the unit's place. Each pair and the remaining digit if any is called a period. So here we will start by grouping the numbers. So we will start from the units place. This is our first group 0 4 and the other group is 2 3. We, we do not have any leftover number. So we have only two groups 2 3 and 0 4. So for our convenience, I am going to write the squares of all the numbers from 1 to 10 here on the right hand side of the board. So 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 49, 8 square is 64, 9 square is 81 and 10 square is 100. Now the second step here is to think of the largest square number whose square is equal to 23 or just less than 23. So here from our square numbers we can see that the square number whose square is less than 23 is 4 because 4 square is 16. 5 square will be more than 23 so we will take 4 and write this square number here and take it as a divisor. So 4 times 4 will be 16. Now we will subtract the two numbers. 3 minus 6 is not possible so we will borrow 13 minus 6 is 7 and this is 0. After subtracting the next step is to bring down the next period to the right of the remainder. So our remainder is 7 and our next period is 0, 4. So we will bring down 0, 4 here. Be aware that here we are bringing the next period. That means the two numbers together we are bringing down, not the single number as we usually do in our simple division. So here we are bringing 0, 4 together. So this becomes 704. Now this 704 is our new dividend, the number to be divided. Now we got our new dividend. For the new divisor, we need to add the same number that is the divisor to the divisor or we can say that we have to take twice the divisor. So this we are going to add 4 to it. So 4 plus 4 is 8. And there will be some other digit which we are going to annex here. So the number to be annexed here or put here decided in such a way whose product with the new divisor gives the number which is equal to 704 or just less than 704. So let us find out the number we need to annex here. If we annex 1 then we need to multiply it by 1 to 81 times 1 will be 81 which is way less than 704. Now let us annex 3 here. So 83 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 8 is 24. So this comes out to be 249 which is way less than 704. Now let's annex 6. So 86 times 6 will be 6 times 6 is 36 and 3 will be carried over. 6 times 8 is 48. 48 plus 3 is 51. This is also less than 704. Now let us choose 8. So 88 times 8 will be, 8 times 8 is 64, 6 will be carried over, 8 times 8 is 64, 64 plus 6 is 70. So we got our exact number 704, so the digit we are going to annex is 8. So 8 will come here and 8 will go in the quotient 2. So 88 times 8 will give us 704. Now we are going to subtract the two numbers and the remainder is 0. So here we are going to stop and the number we got in the quotient is the square root of 2304. So the square root of 2304 is 48.
this is our final answer we are going to box the answer so this is how you can find the square root of 2304 by long division method i hope this video is helpful to you if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos thanks for watching